conceptual people talk about all of the elements. There will never be a point in your time in your life where it's the right time to do a great thing. If you're waiting for that perfect, perfect moment, that perfect timing, it's not going to happen. You know what you have to do? You have to create the perfect time and the perfect opportunity and the perfect situation. So that a lot of people become comfortable. They stop growing. They stop wanting anything. They, they become satisfied. People getting ready to go to jobs that they don't like. Jobs that are making them sick. You see, when you're not pursuing your goal, you are literally committing spiritual suicide. When you have some goal out here that you're stretching for and reaching for, that takes you out of your comfort zone, you'll find out some talents and abilities you have that you didn't know you have. When the messenger of misery visits you, what are you going to do? What will keep you in the game? There are things that you think you'll never need to know that you may only need to know one time in your life, but that could save your life because you had that knowledge. Unless you attempt to do something beyond that which you've already mastered, you will never grow. What is it that you looked at at some point in time and you decided that you couldn't do it? That you talk yourself out of it? You're waiting on your next door neighbor to make it happen for you, it may not happen. If you're waiting on your mother or your father, they may be so ancient in their thinking that they don't understand this opportunity that you have. And if you're waiting on them, it may never get done. You don't beg average people to be phenomenal. You don't beg good people to be phenomenal. You just are phenomenal and you will attract phenomenal. What reason can you remember that you can call on, that you can reach on, that can make you get back up? Find that reason. If you're not where you are, if you're not where you want to be, if you don't have what you want, want to have, if you're not where you think you should be at this particular place, it has nothing to do with the system, but it has everything to do with the fact that you're not making the sacrifice. I want you to make that dream become a reality because if you don't, you will be working for somebody else to make their dreams become a reality. Everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more. And let me tell you something, that's a lonely feeling. It's a lonely feeling, particularly people that you're doing it for. Most people take their greatness, take their ideas to the graveyard with them. Listen to me, if it was easy, everybody would do it. There are people right now who are working who don't want to work. There are people who hate their jobs, but they keep getting up to do it. The wealthiest place on the planet is the graveyard. Because in the graveyard, we will find inventions that we never, ever were exposed to. Ideas, dreams that never became reality. Hopes and aspirations that were never acted upon. The question is, what are you going to do with your time? What drives you? And greatness is a lot of small things done well. Day after day. Workout after workout, obedience after obedience, day after day. When things don't work out for you, when things happen that you could not anticipate, what are the reasons that you can think of that can keep you strong? You will never ever be successful until you turn your pain into greatness, until you allow your pain to push you from where you are to push you to where you need to be. Stop running from your pain and embrace your pain. Your pain is going to be a part of your prize, a part of your product. I, I challenge you to push yourself. See, it's easy to be on the bottom. It doesn't take any effort to be a loser. It doesn't take any motivation, any drive in order to stay down there on a low level. But it calls on everything in you. You have to harness your will to say, I'm going to challenge myself. I mean that what you did last week don't count. Today, today is the only important day.
there are 86,400 seconds in a day, and how you use those are critical. You got 86,400 today, and what you do today is going to see me who you are. Nobody's going to talk about what you did last week. That the biggest enemy you have to deal with is yourself. There's an old African proverb that says, if there's no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. You have this opportunity of a lifetime. It means absolutely nothing if you don't take advantage of it in the lifetime of this opportunity. I got a saying that when life knocks you down, try and land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. If you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for, to work day and night for, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, See, it's time now. If you want to make this your decade, you've got to start saying yes to your life. You've got to start saying yes to your dreams. Yes to your unfolding future. Yes to your potential. As opposed to saying no. When you die, die on E. Leave no dream left behind, God. Leave no opportunity left behind. When you leave this earth, accomplish every single thing you can accomplish. Listen to me, you're going to be here one day, but you'll never get here if you give up, if you give in, if you quit. And finally, guys, you got to want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe. You know, everybody talks about greatness. Everybody talks about winning. Everybody talks about rising to the occasion. But when the time comes to go into the empty gym, when the time comes to go into that place where you build greatness, that place where you rise to meet the challenge, when the time comes to go into that moment, very few are ready. Let me tell you something. You cannot escape the process and expect to have the promise. The process always precedes the promise. The process is always going to be what prepares you for greatness, what prepares you to win, what prepares you to come up to a new level. You don't do the work in the empty gym. You don't get to shine in the stadium, in the arena of life, in the places where people are admiring your work, well, in the places where you can look and see the fruit of your labor. It begins in that empty space where no one sees you putting in the work, when no one sees you getting up at four o'clock in the morning, when no one sees you reading the books that most people won't read, when no one sees you studying people who have done more than you have, when no one sees you staying up late at night planning for the next day. That's where you win. That's where you come up. That's where you rise. Greatness is built in the moments of adversity. Greatness is built in the moments of discomfort. Greatness is built when everyone else is sitting down and, and, and relaxing. Greatness is built when everyone else is satisfied with average. Greatness is built when everyone else is complacent in their place in this world. You are going to have to learn how to wake up and put in the work in the empty gym before you can shine in the arena of life. Let me tell you, it's not pretty. Let me tell you, it's not easy. Let me tell you, it's going to snatch you out of the corner, the corner of comfort that you've been living in for so long. But I'm trying to get you to understand that if you would just escape that corner long enough, you will find everything that you've been looking for in this life, everything that you've been desiring, everything that you want. It comes when you make up in your mind that you're going to enter the empty gym, that place where most people put in very little, if any, work at all. This is your moment. This is your opportunity. This is your chance. It may not come again. Wake up and shine in your moment. Go into that empty gym, into that empty space. I dare you to put in the work.